All right, as described in section one, we took our engine mount, clamped it in place, and marked around our um, areas of conflict, ground a little bit back at the corners to make it fit. And here we have our pieces cut. All right, this is the location that our accessory panel is going to go. Here we're bolting up the voltage regulator rectifier. Got ignition. And here we're going to mount the air oil separator. You'll notice that the inlet to the filter has a slightly larger banjo fitting diameter than the outlet. And that corresponds with slightly larger ceiling rings and slightly larger banjo bolt. The For the fuel return we placed a blue anodized fitting in the lower hole and the, this is what is the pressure regulator for the fuel and we'll torque that down with a ceiling ring underneath the head. All right, here we've in, uh, installed a couple of fuel flow transducers uh, for the Dynon. Uh, this one uh, on the pilot side is the uh, fuel inlet transducer. This counts all the fuel that goes to the engine. And then over here on the co-pilot side, we have the return uh, transducer, and it subtracts the amount of fuel returned to the tank from the amount that is sent to the engine. Positioning the holes for our exhaust gas temperature probes. This is a pretty standard probe you'll see with most kits. It calls for an eighth inch hole to be put in the exhaust pipe and the manufacturer recommends, the probe manufacturer recommends between two and eight inches and in a straight section of pipe away from the cylinder head. 